rattle, get let loose, and then came in. Finding a new normal after a natural disaster can be overwhelming, from losing everything to losing only some things and all of the gray area in between. Big time. For many people like James Tunicliffe, starting over is mentally and physically exhausting. I had to sleep in my car. And Friday, I, I come back here, and uh, they said, we well, can come back if you want to, but you'd be at your own risk. So I said, I'm coming back. I don't know where I go, except here, this is my home. The Castaways Resort and Condominium is home to hundreds of Nicole evacuees. Late Sunday night, they got the welcome news they could come home. Many of them are on a tight budget and had to make tough decisions when they were told to leave. Now they have tougher choices on how they will come back. Oh, it's been horrible, horrible here. Just day by day, take it day by day, you know. You got to dry these things out, you know what I mean? Residents are running humidifiers day and night to try and dry out their carpets before mold sets in. Hot water and running elevators are creature comforts at this point. But for so many people impacted by Ian and Nicole, they have no choice but to stay put and hope there aren't any new issues with the seawall that collapsed around their condo. The state of Florida has some of the strongest building codes in the country. That's all thanks in part after Hurricane Andrew. Even these seawalls, inspectors came out into Volusia County and checked them. They said these are some of the strongest seawalls they've also ever seen. But after Hurricane Ian came in and started to do some of the initial damage, it didn't take much for Nicole to come sweeping through here and just take out what Ian had left behind. Now you you see all this rubble behind me, which was once a seawall, is a natural barrier until the inspectors can get in here and rebuild those seawalls and get them in place. The contractor we had brought in, he said, wow, these were some of the strongest seawalls he has seen and was really shocked that it gave way and, and felt that it was likely contributing from those seawalls next to us that gave way and that kind of pulled ours with it. A series of unusually high tides along with a debilitating onshore flow after Hurricane Ian helped cripple this already fragile coastline. When Nicole came calling, it finished off what Ian had already started. Dozens of other condos are still condemned like the Hawaiian Inn and Pirate's Cove, just to name a few. Contractors can't even begin to give a timeline when those residents can return home. Daytona Beach Shores officials say the city will no longer respond to emergency calls because the people that defied the evacuation orders could put responders' lives at risk. Many residents say it's a risk they have to take while they wait for a hopefully quiet end to a turbulent hurricane season. Reporting in Daytona Beach Shores, I'm Leslie Hudson for AccuWeather.